I'd rather die on my feet with my head held high. time for me to do an update on these gecko carbon fiber climbers um and then after i talk about these i've got something over here to show you that's going to be a good option um especially if you're just getting started out but on these these geckos here um when i first got them obviously they're they're a really nice product and super light like you notice right away how light these are they are just crazy light um what i used before was a pair of buckingham big bucks and ever since i put these on this is all i've used i tried wearing those buckinghams once and i just couldn't they they felt so heavy and sloppy that i just i couldn't use them anymore so this is what I've been using for a little over two years and just gotten every day heavy use out of them. And it's it's starting to show. I mean, they're, they're finally starting to show their wear and tear. But everything on here is replaceable. So I can get new, new cups, new pads, new Velcro. Um, the top Velcro has held up really well. The bottom Velcro is starting to not stick. Because um, I don't use these buckles probably the way that you should. By like setting the length and then just using the buckle. Every time I put them on and take them off, I, I clip up the Velcro or secure the Velcro. And then, or I'll clip the buckle and then I'll tighten it down. And then when I'm done, I'll take the Velcro off and undo the buckle. It's just the way I do it. Um... But I don't think it's even necessary to have this buckle, to be honest. But yeah, so these are ready to get replaced. The carbon fiber has held up well. Really, the, the cuffs have held up well. I try to put my company stickers on them to save them from getting banged up and scratched up. But it doesn't look like it even really needed that. Um, also... What I've really liked on these is they've got this rubber pad on the bottom. So when you're limb walking or anything like that, you don't slide around like you do on a pair of like steel spikes. Um, that grip is, is nice. It is helpful. So um, now let me show you what else I have over here. So these are the aluminum MK3s from Distal. And I got these from Honey Brothers. And they came in at just a hair over $400. You know, in comparison to these, these are seven, $800, depending where you get them from. And, I mean, they're real, they're real close. You're getting a lot of the same features. You get the comfort of the, the pad. The pad is identical. I mean, it's identical. You get the Velcro up top. Um, it's just a Velcro strap on the bottom, but like I said, I don't even think you need the buckle. Um, it doesn't have rubber at the bottom, but it does have that. I think it, you know it's the same same idea. But this is what I'm going to start all my new climbers on. Is these aluminum MK, MK3s from Distal. And I, I suggest you spend at least, at least this. At least spend $400 on your climbing spikes. If you're not in a position to at least spend that, then just wait. Just wait until you have enough money. I mean, because you, you, you will notice the difference. If you're climbing every single day and you're making money every single day, just spend the money and get these. You will appreciate how light they are. Um, 
any any weight savings on your body, any wear and tear on your body. You know, it's a it's a marathon in this business. You just anything that can stop wear and tear on your body is something you you would definitely want to do. But I mean, I paid for these in the first day that I used them. You know, one tree removal and you pay for something like this. So I don't regret getting these at all. I absolutely think they're worth seven or eight hundred dollars. Um, but these are these are also a good option. These are a very good option. So I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, just comment. I'll try to answer best as I can. And see you next time.